gonna get no ass kicked here, that much is clear man. <laughs> Let's sell our skin as expensive as possible. Hey, ahoy hoy. We will get now our ass so heavily kicked, guys. Guys, guy. So la la. Yeah, the enemy. Three full stacks though. None of them are tired. We will get our ass kicked. I'm thinking we're gonna do as much as possible with the chameleon skins and then we're just gonna fuck off. These guys can shoot a little bit. Maybe he can send down uh, Combat of Cassandora. But that might be it though. We might can shoot a uh, Hand of Gods. Um, if we can, he shall do a couple of shots as well. But that is it, I fear. I'm kind of really block with, um, you know, with that actually. That is just not a decent blocking option. 
You know, it's more than nothing, but it's not a lot as well. can do, huh? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the first stack is not so horrible, but also enough if they gonna do certain things or not gonna do certain things, then yeah. So I'm unsure about what to actually do. This is good though, we can bring those guys down immediately. Cannon there, okay. Man, dude, what about today, dude? Cool. Sucker's waiting as well. Yeah, there's not much to do. Might should have done this here. Because this is just now quite nice. And it won't be long as well.
No, we're gonna fuck off. Oh no, dude. Oh. Fucking idiot. Move out of there. Move out of there, you fucking idiot, man. Annoying. And why are they fucking visible, huh? Magic, I assume. Huh? No, what the fuck, man? something up. Yeah. We can always stand their firepower. That's just like it is. Can we do another heal on him? No, we can't. Way too little damage, man. <laughs> Fucking hell, you idiot, man. Twice, dude. Shit. Hey, Sparta. Not following up, interesting. Okay, that will just save Crocker's life, I think. No news yet. So, the company where I ordered the shit. Uh, we're full two weeks to set up the package. Still super pissed that they they said they cannot send it because the fan hub is not there. And in those two weeks, they said the fan hub is not there. 
they sold the fan hub at least five times. Huh? So, you know, they are always, yeah, it's, it's available at this date. And then, uh, don't know, twice before this date, they're going to sell them. They are, are going to offer them. And then they do this a couple of times. So then on literally last Monday, uh, not today, well, a full week now, they said, uh, we're going to send it. And then uh, German Postal Service takes a fucking week and it's not there yet. Huh? What the fuck? I'm super pissed, man. Yeah, I have no clue, man. Bonjour, Monsieur Necrosmisa. Mm -mm -mm, super pissed, honestly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is one, that is one. Where's the third one, though? Can we see him? If not, we can assume that he is laying an ambush. <sighs> well, I guess so, but, um, well, the elsewhere is not in with this mixture. I would go for several other companies. I'm not gonna do Amazon because Amazon sucks and yeah, if it would be a horse, we would need to shoot it. So I'm not gonna go to Amazon. That being said, <coughs> excuse me. That being said, um, and yeah, and I guess they will not do difficult. But one thought of me is not that they did it extra like that. It is just that I they have some uh, be be a gold guy. Uh, so you pay uh, you buy basically uh, don't know you pay fifteen or twenty bucks extra, and then you are gonna be kind of premium, and you're gonna get uh, your shit delivered first. So I didn't do that, man. Um, I never do that. Why f the fuck would I do that? Huh? So, but I do think this is literally what happens. Um, and so, and the other thing is, uh, you have 14 days time to uh, step away from the, <laughs> yeah, 14 days, man. Uh, 14 days time to, uh, you can't just send it back though. This is one option. It's not done, but Overall, uh, they could do difficult because th you have 14 days time after you have paid to cancel uh, your, I don't know what you, how you say it in, uh, uh, in English, uh, to cancel your, your buying, so to say. So, I paid, 14 days later, they ship. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I am um, overhaul my cooling system in the PC, Necrosmith, and it's basically AOE on the graphics card and a bigger AOE on the CPU. And yeah, so don't know I ended up by 400 bucks which is tremendous for me anyway um, and uh, so and I I ordered three weeks ago it's not here yet uh, and two weeks um, two weeks the um, the selling company took their time and now a full week for, I don't know, man, it's in fucking Bremen. It's in northern Germany as well. It's it's really close by, man. I mean, not really close by. It's, I don't know, let's say three, three, 350 kilometers and uh, DHL, um, DHL um, the, uh, the German parcel um, company, well, the biggest, so to say, um, yeah, they need a fucking week for that, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, 
return policy if you receive the product, not after we buy. Yeah, no, I mean, they won't do difficult because it was their fault. So I, I could, um, uh, I could do that though. But there's so much, uh, pissy rent material in that. I, I can't even, man. I left so much money there. Uh, the company is Mind Factory and I do not recommend anymore. Um, it's, it's just fucking disgusting, man. Honestly. Also, what, what pisses me literally off is that they say the fan hub is not there and they gonna offer it anyway. A server all times, you know? And at least five times within those two weeks. Huh? It's, yeah, it's disgusting. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, well. Here go. <laughs> no, I mean I can I can basically return it whenever I want. Uh, so they won't do. I I I do think uh, they won't do difficult. Uh, but yeah, it's still you know pisses me off like hell. Three weeks. Where the fuck are we in America or what? Fucking hell, man! It's really taking the piss out of the customer. I mean, literally. It. it ah. It bugs me to fucking hell. Huh? Yeah, I guess it's gonna be alright, you know. Yeah, I would just have a look. I, and the other thing is, um, you know, uh, DHL, DHL uh, is, has become a really also kind of predatory hardcore capitalist uh, uh, asshole uh, freaks as well. So a, a couple of decades, uh, well not really a couple of decades, between 10 and 20 years ago, um, the German state um, basically um, had nothing to do. Well, it's, a, it's a big term, uh, well this is the result of privatization basically you know and you you guys in Britain know that very well and uh, what happens I don't know we have this with the uh, uh, with the Deutsche Bahn uh, with the uh, uh, German train system as well and um, so privatization um, then we're gonna have it in the parcel service and overall uh, letter delivery system uh, also privatization and the results of that are just fucking devastating man I mean it it's it's ridiculous ridiculous it's it's horrible man fucking hate it huh? hey there I shoot <laughs> so yeah here we go um sparta you have undervolted because of the temperatures do i see that correctly uh yeah it's so shitty everywhere yeah exactly yeah yeah and it's literally that, you know, they're just, yeah, it's, it's, ah, fuck that, man. Really. And, and what, you know what pisses me off? And this is really something, um, you know, I, I mean, England is, is uh, in a way more political independent. Um, and this is not because uh, they are not in the EU anymore. Uh, this is because uh, they have never been occupied by America, you you know, um, and and therefore so there's there's less um, uh, political playground so to say, and uh, but nonetheless, if you see how it looks there, and it's literally. Um, Every, we do everything they did 10, 15 years ago, and we see the results now, What, how shit it is, and then they do it anyway. I, I mean, literally. If I do this, I lose my arm, but I, I can use, don't know, man, I can use 10 fingers for a while very fast. The fuck, man! I don't get it. And this is just in in everything, actually. This is with the with the energy. This is with the water. This is with the transport. This is with the uh, delivery system. It's it's holy fucking shit, man. Yeah. So and and and, and I gotta say though, you know, we are uh, uh, Germany has no other choice than being kind of 
uh, lackeys to America. This is, uh, I mean, this is not really, you know, this is not how it's promoted, but it is though. But also in countries who do not have to do that. It's, it's fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, it bugs me to hell, man. Bugs me to fucking hell. These short-sighted idiots, huh? Yeah. Ugh. And it bugs me as well if, even if I do not get my PC stuff not delivered. <laughs> but you know, then it, it just swoops over you and you kind of look at that and yeah, man. Ugh. It's disgusting. And I bet my fucking ass in that fucking mind factory company um, they are literally getting those fan hubs and then they see, don't know, we have new five delivered and those fan hubs gonna go to the gold guys who have paid extra because this is the service the payment, extra payment uh, actually gives you. And this is so, I don't know man, it should be fucking illegal. You cannot, you cannot say this man has a lower income than the other man, therefore <laughs> I will give him his stuff later. I mean, this this should be illegal, right? Oh, fucking hell, man. Yeah. A GPU is water cooled. Yeah, okay. Uh, but okay, let's, let's try to forget about that, though. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me. So this is what I'm uh, renting about Necrosmith. Um, a privileged white PC guy doesn't get his shit and blames the system. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. With PC guy, I mean, don't mean PC. I mean desktop. Well, yeah. More for power consumption than anything while retaining identical performance. Reduced temps are a bonus. Okay. Uh -uh -uh. Everything is pretty fucked at the moment, yeah. I've certainly taken the approach of not caring too much about stuff I can't control, less stress. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just hard to do that when it, uh, you know, a, it's, it's gonna make us really kinda uh, passive, and to a degree this can be its passive slash obedient. And, uh, yeah, so, and it's hard to actually uh, stay passive slash obedient uh, when it actually hits you, you know? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I guess so, you're right. Mm -mm -mm. Have a nice one. First world problems. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I mean, the truth is, this leads overall, you know. I am just ranting here. Other people think uh, genocide is also an option, you know. This is also everywhere in, in, in Europe and also due to the same root problems. So, yeah. This is not just... Um, this... Yeah, it's it's really yeah. The roots of my first world problems are pretty much world problems, literally. Who are you? Where are you? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey Jeff. <laughs> ah, it's just disgusting, guys. Um, do we dare to lay siege? Fucking those shaptis and that dwarven, yeah. Man, you guys should be ashamed of yourself as well. The army itself looks pretty grim, to be honest. Nonetheless, I'd say we are laying siege. Can we see a little bit of the surroundings? Look pretty empty, right? Let's 
there. We can't fuck off anyway. Let them eat their beards. This is a trap, isn't it? It's a trap! I'm not even sure... No, there must be a third army. We know that for sure. Mm -mm. I'm not even sure if we can cross the bridge now. Could they be... No. Nah. Nah. If you do that, how far can you go? Do that. Need to replenish and he might come a little bit closer. And if not, we're gonna kill him. Oh man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I mean, truth to be told, I would like to attack him, but... We know that there is a third army. I say it for the third time. <laughs> Uh, um. I mean, overall could happen right uh, we're gonna lose the four blessed sauruses and the rest is replaceable and or immortal in the first place yeah pretty much would be a pity in terms of magic items here um, let's see that we're gonna grant them another didn't we have no we gave it somebody else well dude you lost two talisman of endurance uh, you're gonna only get a dawnstone and that's your fault your fault sir <laughs> Uh, undeterred by the discovery of the enemy. Okay, so yeah, he was actually. So we could fuck off and then maybe try it in. And I think we should do that. It's not gonna be nice, but let's try. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's, yeah, that's the sad little thing, though. Yeah, we say first world problems, though, but honestly, man, um, you know, as I said, the root of this problem, you know, um, you know, and, and they not blame, I don't know, short-sighted fucking capitalism, uh, you know, uh, but they're gonna blame, don't know, strangers, people who look different, people who, don't know, um, love the same sex, or, you know, stuff like that. And this is really dangerous shit. Huh? Really fucking dangerous shit. Don't know if, if that really, you know, is something we should, um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a good description, actually, is what I want to say. <laughs> Yo, Necrosmith, um, would we be able to revive these guys when they are capped already? Hmm. 
Earth to Necrosmith. Earth to Necrosmith. I guess we're just gonna try it. That's a cannon, that's an organ gun, that's a cannon. Oof. Oof. No mate, only in the current battle, yeah. It's a shame, hey Ozzy S. Um, it's a shame capital lifted more people out of poverty and memories than any economic system in history, and it's the bad guy. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is correct, sir. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. You know, we are we are not gonna sit in here and I mean is that And is the bad guy. Yeah, I guess yeah, this this is not wrong what you say. I'm not sure if this is really um you know I'm not sure about that, if this is really true. What I do know, it is the bad guy, though. Yeah. I don't have the numbers. I have no... I have just people um, who claim that over and over again. You know? Don't know, man. Well, claim the first part, you know. Billions out of poverty. I, I, I'm not sure where. It... No. I mean, for reals now. Um, so I'm gonna say I don't know. Which is true for me, and I highly suspect for you as well. How much, and I'm, maybe try to be honest to yourself. Is that something you know, or is that something you repeat? I mean, for reals now, I do not know if this is the case. Yeah, within capitalism, though, you know. I'm not sure. I mean, if you have that, then you know as well that, um, you know, uh, Romans and the Republic said the Republic was the best. And then the Romans under dictatorship said, yeah, well, that needs to be done. This is the best. And then the Romans uh, under Primus Inter Pares uh, also you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, man. This has just a decent amount of value if... Uh... <laughs> and it doesn't really matter as well what it did when it's, you know, when it's doing and causing so much harm as well. And it's what you said, basically, you know, even if this is, uh, a, let's just say it is, which questionable, to be honest, you know, it's still the bad guy. Yeah? And it is the bad guy. Mm -mm No, this is not the question. What is this for a question, man? Honestly. This is a dumb question. It's shit right now. It goes to shit. It suppresses people. It kills people. It destroys the world. It, it distributes the money only to a tiny fucking percentage of humans. We, the question is not... Yeah, that's your question. Yeah, well... 
you might want to search another channel, sir, where you can, you know, just diverse the actual problem to a question that doesn't fucking matter. Don't forget to unfollow, sir. If you follow. Or put your subscription away if you have subscribed. What the fuck? This diversion shit, this goes on way too long as well. I will read it in a sec. He's invisible. Are the cannons shooting on them? No, on them. Shit that they're coming back though. <laughs> run, little skink, run! Are they actually? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Let's wait a little, let's go around, otherwise the shooters will just turn around. Uh, 
Doesn't matter what we do right now, it will hurt anyway. Interfere here first. That's bad. I'd like to leave a little bit more time though because we have to kill him. They are not in forced march or anything. Uh, so I just died a lot. <laughs> the, uh, the the difficulty is your friend, man. The difficulty slider. Go on, ease, ease. All good. Feel the power. <laughs> Which one you started with, though? Yeah, let's see that we kill him. Even if that means we will uh, get a little bit less done in terms of. Oh, he's rampaging. Uh, a little bit less done in terms of healing. Okay. Yeah, do as you see fit, I mean, you know. Do you think it's worth the effort to get back into it, or...? <laughs> Iron Brow is quite alright, right? I feel like. Yeah, the very early start is a little bit fickly, yeah. in the common man in a free market. Um. 
Welcome to the opposite of Shrewd and the only men of people to make a ritual here. Yeah, I guess I can live with my nausea. <laughs> Sorry, man, for being so, uh, you know, a little bit harsh uh, in tone. But, you know, the, actually, these are also the, the yeah. Yeah, what's better than it? You know, <laughs> that's, that's so uh, unhelpful in these things. So, really... Um, You weren't harsh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see that we're gonna get a couple of guys back, because truth is, with the same dudes, we're gonna let him live, though. He might be just butt there. Yeah, he's glued to the cannon. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, thus, you will help there. We can heal a little bit, so they're going to get away. And we're going to leave him there. Okay. And then, doing this. Uh, well, we'll see. We we'll need to do it everywhere. Doesn't really matter. So you guys are through as well. Maybe you're lucky. Uh, I'll give it more tries. Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, I kind of, I don't know, we have uh, had a couple of uh, viewers who are switching in and out, basically, of... Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> They're healing until I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dwarves. No, I guess the rest of his troop went there, just the uh, the shield was there. Uh, okay, we're gonna eat some dwarf, and then we're gonna get a couple of dudes back, but... Mmm... Mmm... And now Beligar, basically. We might can just attack those guys. Maybe. Yeah, we shall try. Okay, no, we can't. That's quite ambitious. We could just fuck off now. We still have plenty of movement. And this army has, you know, the first one where we run away. We did a little bit. We got a little bit out of it um, for our... Talisman of Preservation. Mm -hmm. Not sure we sh I kind of would like to do that, actually. Where would we end up? Now we're gonna get on oh, the range is there as well. No, let's do that then. Yeah, that's quite nice. But then let's go for flock of doom because we're doing it every now and then. Yeah, it's not as good as it was though. I got a feeling. It's all very subjective, but meh, especially against the dwarves, you know. Uh -oh. Uh, they have nothing to gain. We would need to heal. It's not a lot of skins, man, but he has just one cannon as well. We will see. And I do not know if he has beaten Beligar already, but Beligar has. Uh, is, his trade is not good, it's some underground stuff, right? Which might be swell, you know, we are fighting only dwarves in the first place, so. Yeah, that's not an auto. Ah, so many shooters. And a decent amount of uh, melee as well. And that guy. That guy, man. <laughs> now, what is this? Okay. 
But he's not gonna get healed or something. No. Ooh. Looks nice and but okay. Well, it's more or less the same as before. So the cannon is allowed to shoot at us, huh? Pretty much. But yeah, it doesn't make it less telling though, you know, having rant about that, triggered by, I'm not getting my PC parts, I'm not getting my PC parts, oh fucking hell. Actually, the other one can give this one, and then he will be full. Move around. It's gonna be a bit shit. Actually, I'm gonna switch. Uh, we're gonna move around. We might not need to. No. If we don't fire, we should be fine. It's just one left, he will be dead very fast, very likely to the ballista fire, yeah. Let's see that we work on the cannon actually. Is it already shooting by the way? No. So let's see that we <coughs> snipe a while though, it's a little bit uh, fiddly to get to the right position, but it's gonna be alright I think, and also worth it, it's the only cannon. Well, we will be busy with that shooter line in the first place.
Come on, ladies, come on. Really, just one? Oh, guys. There we go. And still sniping. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine, Necro. I was sitting here crying, man. I called for you, but you weren't there. You didn't answer. I felt left alone. Lonely, stranded in the desert. to run up with them because this is actually quite a nice uh, nice one here but yeah it's not gonna happen in sniping material, dude. Nah, I shouldn't have Isn't this normal? They look so slow, man. Kind of interesting. No guys, this is not what I said. You know, when the melee button is on, you're gonna go melee, and if the shoot button is on, you fucking shoot. You guys. Well, in that case, why not melee a little bit, huh? Oh, 
of shooters. Let's bring these guys around. And he's doing something for us boys, huh? Holy shit, man. Ozzy just up, man. Thank you. With Sauron's money. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ozzy. He is Mr. Ghost, right? Yeah, he is. Billigar's about to fuck off as well. He is, uh, but Mr. Ghost will not. So let's bring out the infantry. Um, let's make you two ready. And you two go on another place. And we want to shoot him to pieces. Uh, you will just do something else and that. Um... Well, you could heal, but you do not matter right now. This is fine, and you will shoot at Mr. Ghostman as well. Said you're going out, guys. So, you... Okay, well, let's try again, then. It's shooting, and we have him on top of guard, so let's hope this will work. You guys, no melee attack as well. You fuck off. Uh, you're gonna give him one good bash. And then follow him. That physical resistance, huh? Holy shit, man. Quite alright though. Um, let's prepare here for a little bit of healing. actually lost anything. I'm not sure if these guys are at the limit right now. I don't think so. Stop playing with your food, man. guys hmm. I think so which one did I just had uh, with the helm of discord do you have that no am I stupid he has it cool. It's just melee defense, it doesn't do anything actually.
Is the last one as well? Do we want to heal a little bit further? Theoretically, yes. So. At least those two. Okay, meetings we could now. Twelve turns to figure out that out that for Nagarit to ambush on attack, uh, you have to be in the ambush stance. Really, this is something Nagarit. I did. I, dude, I do not know that in the first place. Really, they can do that. So it's half a Skaven, basically. I don't know, man. I don't like how this is going. I mean, if they have that, the Skaven have that, fucking Siege has that, I'm not sure if we are not doing it a little bit too much, do we? <laughs> you know what I mean, man? If this is just, uh, yeah, Ali Fana, yeah. <laughs> oh. Weird. Not sure if I'm a fan of that. Really? Maybe we can do that as well. Maybe everybody can do that. This was a bit dumb though. Yeah, yeah. So maybe there's a chance then, right? Yeah, well, this is very nice for the ego, but I shouldn't have done that, though. No, this is fairly mad. Ooh, interesting. The fuck? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's still dangerous because most of these guys are invisible for us for quite a while. And we would skirmish with the uh, with the chameleons, and as soon as we see them, they start throwing. Actually, maybe a little bit earlier as well. But nonetheless, it could have been worse than that, to be honest. So he might very well attack, but I'm not sure. I mean, we are a little low on uh, chameleons now, but we can set up a kind of a firing line. This won't do that much damage. Nothing we can heal away. We can't heal away. So, might be fine. Just, you know, we should have killed the two stacks and then fucking off. And be happy to be alive. Eh? But, yeah. Uh,
No. Uh, let's go in direction wild eye. This is not unimportant. He has a nice 50, you know. And he's not bad, actually, once he's getting in the higher levels. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, he survived. Uh, well, for that turn, though. The next... I'm not sure. We haven't really fought that amount of rangers. Are these literally Bookman rangers? No, they are the blue ones, right? The blue cap or something, yeah. Something with a Bookman brain. <laughs> Uh, pretty much. So we're gonna hope uh, they sell you out and we'll see what we can do. I'm not entirely sure if we actually fight in this though. Uh, the organ guns, once they are shooting, can be harsh. Um, you know, but if we can use again, we have six blessed here, so they will be doing actually quite a bit better. And don't they have, um, I could assume, is that so actually for Thoric Ironbrow? But wouldn't it show actually that they're gonna have a tiny amount of. Isn't it Old Grumps player? Uh, Old Grumps Slayer, yeah, it is. Ammo piercing, weapon damage, Lord's Army. Uh, well, is it melee per se? I do not know for sure. I kind of hope it goes for uh, into the chameleons as well. We're pretty much everybody except for the blessed chameleons do have the aimer piercing on the weapon strings though he himself does not have it so it it's not clear right We'd like to imagine that it is on the chameleon um, range weapons as well. Yeah. Let's just pretend that is the case. What are we going to do here? Do we give it him back though? Uh -uh -uh. That he concentrates a little bit more to the north, which, you know, he will lose due to Katai. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I guess so. We're not putting any money in there, so let's, um, okay, it's such a big game, um, so we have to check on Soltec, we have to check on, uh, we want to get closer to Corone, and yesterday we found another bug where you can ask the AI to break, <laughs> to break their uh, alliances, and they just do it for zero money though some of them do for zero money and some of them uh, but constant zero and some of them want to have money i don't really understand the having you know asking for money would be uh, the right option in that case but we had weird things maybe it's a bug in terms of crisis factions if you asked um the ai if they're gonna break the alliances with the crisis faction that they then say yep we're gonna do that for zero money which yeah would still be weird but also highly welcome and it would kind of make up for the fact that um they're gonna have alliances with the crisis uh, crisis faction in the first place you know, because otherwise you would end up literally uh, with fighting the world, which I would not enjoy actually. You know, let them go crazy, but then let them go crazy. The crisis faction, I mean, and not um, just anti anti uh, anti player bias, basically. Okay, so we have to have a look anyway. We did we decide it on we did not. Uh, not really. Yes, a little bit we did. Is he laying siege already? No. Um we wanted to give him some stuff. Um the coatles will take a little bit of time. And this as uh these are ridiculous strange armies, yeah. 
With the one copter in him, it's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. So, I mean, in this case, then, um, since we are looking at literally that, let's use him with his setting and croak him as well. I mean, he shall have croak anyway, it doesn't really matter. But, um, I think that could be really worthwhile. We've got to see that we're going to get the Iron Breakers yeah, kind of into the fight fast. Because if they're going to stand in the second row and throwing their charges, this is going to be very expensive. Once we have them, don't know, front to front, it might be alright. Quite, actually. Valiant defeat. Holy shit. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. The Iron Breakers. Uh, Aim of piercing for whom? I think these guys are going to have a hard time in the first place. I'd say we're going to give... Melee attack 57, 41, 63. The Loren. The Loren 300. Thanks. Is it the Loren? Let me check that. Uh, the Lorenz. Here we go. Uh, 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 thanks and welcome. Uh, 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 um. Who shall get it? I mean, I kind of... Do they have a Helm of Discord or something? Should have checked that a little bit more. It doesn't look like it, right? No. He has one? He does not, though. Okay. Both of them have a sort of anti-hero, yeah. So we're gonna use them together, and then I'd say we're gonna give the one... Well, it doesn't really matter. What is this? Uh, Mistcast chance, 50%. Well, that doesn't matter against the dwarves. Mm, and you do have charge and speed bonus and leadership bonus and the helm of discard. Well, then we're gonna give you the aim at PSM. Yeah, so we gotta use them together as well. Let's not forget about that. Ooh. Weird army, sir. But yeah, uh, as I said yesterday, Karasakarak uh, did the same, basically, early on. And later they switched to um, way more sophisticated ones. No, oh, let's fight. Crazy a little bit, right? The amount of iron breakers and then uh, the... I mean, the rest is literally uh, the lowest tier possible. And yet the auto balance says, Nah, man, I know they are tired, but <laughs> you're gonna lose. And I don't know, they could stand for quite a while, man. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, that Ali doesn't get a mount, which really bugs me, okay. Will stick of Shadow Warriors ambush you every time. You haven't deleted before. You know they were there. Oh my fucking god, yeah. Horrible stuff. Man, if you see me fighting Siege, I mean, you guys have... I'm not sure, Ozzy, you are not new here, right? I'm fairly certain. Anyway, but uh, Necrosmith is fairly new, and if you see me find Siege, I'm gonna get a heart attack, just so you guys know. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan, man. Have you built your army comp yet? No. Um, we will see. Uh, we're gonna do it, but no hurry is what I mean. Uh, but, um, yeah, the... Bum, 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 we have... Uh, we're gonna start the recruitment soon. Well, it's from yesterday. This uh, I have to remember a little. We're gonna start the recruitment soon, as soon as Tic Tac Toe has its army, since he will clock up the global recruitment, or is clocking up the global recruitment. And um, we're gonna use for the first um, batch of um, recruits uh, a humble uh, a humble lord with. Um, 
recruitment reduction and we gave him already another 10 percent reduction as well yeah so we're gonna get see that we're gonna get the most out of that and then once the army is finished we're gonna switch with the uh with the slam mage which we might i'm um, just realize and have to awake no we have a level 36 there don't we the one who died in the not antarctica i think so well we have to check it it's it's yesterday man yesterday it was another time yesterday man <laughs> So, I mean, they're standing nicely, actually. Um, what we need to do is, basically, we need to... When they stop, these guys marching further, how are we gonna... Hmm. How are we gonna stop them from doing that? And they will march towards us in the first place. And that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, I remember that map. Very common in a certain region in Warhammer 2. It's quite nice, though. You can set up there nicely. I'm not sure if it helps us here. On the other hand, though, yeah, no, not really. We want to have a straight line, don't we? I mean, it would be fairly sweet, don't know, Comet of Cassandora and then Crow can just boom, 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 boom. But it would also mean that a lot of the Iron Breaker, if we're going to fight here against the Miners, the Iron Breakers will stand here and on the other side the same, kind of here and throw their satchels. While they do that, we might can boom, boom, boom them, but but then they throw already their satchels. So it's not really what we want. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we could try, but this is not enough poison, though. No, not for the whole range. It's quite a lot of iron breakers. <laughs> I think we're gonna let. <laughs> okay, yeah, I have an idea. Uh, I think we're gonna let the eldest die. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. We count on you guys. Don't mind, the skinks are left and right beside you. We're standing together. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Cancel TV. Have you already completed a long campaign victory? Do you plan on dominating, uh, doing domination as well? No, I plan nothing. I'm just playing the game. Uh, I think long campaign victory would be beating the ultimate prices, and we are far, far away from that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Don't forget the discipline heroes. Yeah, I read that yesterday, but no, man, I'm not sure if we're gonna go there. You know, we're not gonna do it for several turns to get the disciplined ones. This is a little bit, nah, man, I'm not gonna do it. No. Let's have a look. Let's put them all there. So, you guys. The stones are a little bit in the way, are they not? Might should do it here, actually. So that we have a little funnel on this side. Mm -hmm. We could let these guys die as well. So that's basically where they could throw their satchel as well. And truth to be told, these guys around and then shooting in the back would be swell as well. But if they can say, catch a satchel, that's alright as well. Mm -hmm. 
That might be best. They will stand a while and therefore get in a couple of satchels done. Doesn't that mean we could do it here as well? I mean, for the bombs, that would be best up here. We're thinking way too much. Nah, the truth is, you know, this is what I've done a thousand times in Warhammer 2. Let's, let's turn a little bit around, you know? It's a bit easier, everything. A little bit more forgiving. Let's use that. So, I'm gonna stay here. You guys are gonna be master blockers. And I think we're gonna let them run away if they have hatched enough satchels. And these guys are gonna work in the front here anyway. Maybe we can already trigger a couple of satchels as well. You know, the Elven Archers are worth it, actually. Let's keep them for a while, or at least a little bit. You can just stand there and shoot, and you will do more or less the same. Wanna have Croak there as well. Wanna have you there. Mm, and you as well. Mm, let's switch that around. The magic mans to the side. So now we're gonna have one, two, one, two. This is fine. And you guys. Well, let's not forget, we gotta use him together, and then we will see. Let's go on this side because of his hero, but this might change anyway. Let's start. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna just stand there a little, shoot, and let them wait till they are in satchel range, and that's it. And once they are there, we're gonna fuck off. Not even close again, a lot less, I
We'll wait till these guys are fighting and then we're gonna use something here. It's gonna be alright, we can work here already a little. You survive. Okay, let's eat as much as possible. Focus on the iron breakers, though. Oh, Yeah, no, that was quite all right. I'm not sure if the others behind them are in forced march as well. They stood surprisingly long, didn't they? I feel like, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there would be, but we can't reach him. Uh -uh -uh. Thus, we gonna leave it. Yeah, that's alright. Um, let's just stand here and do an ambush. Yeah, we'll declare war soon here. So it's basically, uh, let's see if we're gonna get this together again. So, Ancient Stegadon goes to him. We are down to 16 and we are gonna take off, we said, more or less all of these guys. Which, then we have too much peeps. Um, we might gonna... I'm not sure. Mm -mm -mm. The thing is, if we actually gonna take all the chameleon skins, uh, stalkers, uh, I fucking love them, and <laughs> yes, Necrosmith, I know, but nonetheless, um, you know, this is still would be a fairly decent one uh, against the Wood Elves. Problem is, though, now that Wood Elves and uh, Grom Brindle uh, are fairly powerful in the north. That being said, uh, we will. If we're gonna do it like that, they will be fairly shit against the dwarves. If the dwarves. You know, if, if they come like this, no problem. If they come like uh, uh, Billiga and nowadays uh, Karas Akarak, then that's gonna be a problem. Though I'm not entirely sure though. If we're gonna time it right, and these guys, you know, when we use our chameleons like we use them, the problem with that is that the ether can, don't know, take a copter away, work on the slayers, and that would be more or less the same, or we're gonna lead them around, and then they're gonna start sniping um, at the cannons. Uh, both of it is kind of really good, um, but we cannot do both. Uh, at the same time. So what I think is actually um, we are gonna work with the chameleon skins in the front and we just leave these guys as soon as the uh, cannons uh, are gone, uh, are alone. Though as soon as, um, so we need to have, we need to get shot at, the main army needs to come towards us and but the thing is if we do that a tad too early and um, all the shooters will just turn around and shoot these guys to pieces or a couple of infantry units will go there and just kill our guys i mean they at this time they might have um destroyed the cannon though but yeah i, I would like to i would like to try that though it might actually also work against the dwarves is what i want to say so, but still, then we have what? You do have two of those, right? No, it's just one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we need the Carnosaurs in this army, though? I mean, they're kind of nice against eagles, and if they're working together, they would do against dragons as well. But I'm not sure. I don't think so. And they are just semi helpful against the um, dwarves in the first place. You know, they're nice in a mob, you know, especially with Helm of Discord or something, but otherwise, nah. Not sure, man, not sure. Well, we're gonna wait here anyway, and as soon as he has. Well, lost all or some of his uh, skink oracles. We will see where we end up. I think so. Yeah, so this stays as it is. He's gonna get in all the coatles. Um, yeah, we will see. We might gonna get rid of the pterodon riders. You know, they are nice flavor, especially for tic tac toe. But don't know, man. There would be two, 15, 14, um, 14 and then plus one of those actually, yeah maybe, 
A four is also minimum to be effective against don't know slayers um, and or any flyer or anything like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, truth to be told, it's now don't know when was when we fought the stacks here. Um, the three stacks. Uh, it's the first time actually that Tic Tac Toe cannot uh, go with his <laughs> early early uh, mid game uh, composition. Well, that's all. That's actually fairly sweet, right? Yeah, it may kind of depends on the fact who you find that but, uh, against. But yeah, <laughs> fucking love it. Honestly, Tic Tac Toe, man. Yeah. Yeah, and this is actually a necrosmith. This is the reason why, if you're gonna play to Halloween, you gotta need an army of fucking red chested king, uh, sk uh, skinks, man. Yeah, this is just, it's a, it's a must have, and you gotta make it work as well. I really mean that. So, this is the one we are using. I'm not sure. No, we gave him what we wanted. Uh, it doesn't really matter what he else gonna get. Is there anything? Draftmaster maybe, recruit rank and local. Yeah, sure, let's do that. This is sweet. Uh, but for the rest, it doesn't really matter. Let's do this because otherwise we're gonna get rid of him fairly soon. Uh, but as I said, uh, he could start, right? Yeah, he could start. And we gave him that. Uh, he has that and this one now as well. Okay. So let's do a uh, Lizardman army a la Necrosmith. So we're going to start with these guys, four of them. Then we's gonna have eight of them, is that correct? Um, I think so. Then we're gonna have um, one or two uh, skink priests, two skink um, chiefs. Can we actually have to? No, not really. We've got to have a couple here, though. I mean, this is kind of nice, though, but... Oh, we could get a shit ton of humble ones, actually. But truth is, we are fine. Uh, we're gonna get 34. Um, all of them are gonna get really high out, and they have everything we really want from them. This is fine, we don't need to go over that. And what we could do though is. Um, we're just gonna get rid of those guys. I kind of like the strong one, I kind of like the cunning one, and I would like to use the humble one. Not to use in the army, but to recruit the other heroes. So we can leave it more or less like that. And are we not getting somewhere another skink uh, nest? I thought so. No, this would be here, right? Yeah, this is fairly new, but this is capacity. Um, well, let's have a little look around though, because there might be somewhere a level 2 one which just needs to be upgraded and we need to wait for this army anyway. Mm, there's a level 2 one, uh, but it won't be able to get to 3. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Well, there's a couple of things to do. Uh, let's do that. Sotek is waiting for our love. <laughs> this is in four turns, another Scar veteran. 
mean, the longer we play them, you know, I really like them, but uh, in terms of um, how we're gonna use them and how against, you know, where they are effective. Uh, if we don't find any armies with a lot of um, cavalry, you know, their, their usage is really limited though. It really is. Uh, uh, want to tell me, want, want me to tell you the heroes and run over the entire comp so you have it for reference. Um, I mean, sure, but spit it out. I mean, I would just go for uh, whatever the plus two melee is. Um, you just said, well, not a long time ago, you said it with the... Uh, uh, uh. You don't, I mean, just do a couple of, I mean, this is literally all. Uh, Spit out three traits. I'm not sure. No. I don't find it right now. <laughs> well, this is already everything, and the rest is heroes, right? Is it? And uh, it's in Skink Oracle, um, Skink Oracle, uh, Skink Priest. Do you have two Skink Priests or one? That would be the question. So it's basically two Chiefs, one or two um, Skink Priests. And that's basically all. <coughs> No, I think I, I have it. Uh, you, <laughs> you mentioned it a couple of times. So. Okay, here we go. Second gen slam. Oracle, chief and beast priest, all discipline. Four temple guards, two uh, bestilaton revocation, uh, eight states. Then either two chameleon skins or a uh, second beast priest, so you have two engines of god. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So that means we can get out of here two more of that, which we might as well, because it's three turns up here, right? Yes. Uh, so leave that, and we're all gonna get it in three turns. This is kind of nice. So then we're talking about um, Oracle, uh, just one uh, chief, yeah, or and two um two beasts okay mm -mm -mm. you do it to buff yours or why would you go for beast mm -mm -mm. so this is nice then um yeah, no, and and the thing is though, we will not wait. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have three turns time to wait for example discipline, but if if it's not, then not, man. I don't know. I, I'm not so eager to get it uh, uh, really perfectly done. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Did 
Wild form, so buff, yeah. And flock of doom, spam. Uh, to womb, rag, and high. Can you translate that? What is womb? I see. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, if you're just going for one, um, then we can take this one out. Or we might gonna bring out the humble before we um, take out one of the skink oracle or the priest. I mean, as I said, we don't really need it, but yeah. So yeah, and we will not you know, if, if it's not there, we're going to take something else. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dumb army, man. I know, I mean, you know, it's a dumb army. It's a well thought out army, it's, but it's a really dumb army. It's a clever, well thought out army. Do not get me wrong, but it's a really, really dumb army. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, I do think they might just run in there. <laughs> uh, 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 um, mm -mm. As you want, Prusy's uh, pro progging uh, life bloom, yeah. So you're gonna have it on automatic, actually. No, man. Uh, if you have noticed, we're playing tic-tac-toe and there's a limited amount of blessed units. <laughs> Uh, you don't prop life probe is you overcast. Um, what you guys meaning? Mm -mm -mm. As you do with uh, stacks and temple guards, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Today is my day on the kindergarten. I'm a mathematical, mathematical uh, astrophysics. And children, today I'm going to teach you something. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy moly, man. And then you're also pretty much in a robot setup once you're fighting it, right? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try it. It's fine. And also, you know, it's also for science. Um, I, I do believe it will work very good. Um, against certain enemies better than against others. And it's all good. And uh, yeah. So, but uh, the, the main thing is, uh, still for me, 
um, that we are So I gotta start somewhere else actually. So in Warhammer 2 you would do these kind of stuff basically all the time. So or other way around. With armies, just like I don't know, like this. You would not stand in uh, 300 turns uh, in Warhammer 2. It would just not fly. You know, would, you would just be overwhelmed and you would have so many losses that you you would just lose the campaign. Right? So in Warhammer 3, this is possible. Class A stuff, man. Class fucking A stuff. Um, and I'm very happy that this is the case. So what, what we are trying then now is how does a doomstack, uh, basically a real doomstack that is, um, react to or, or other way, how how is the environment of Warhammer 3 reacting to a doomstack? Not that they reacting to that army specifically, but you know, uh, what can we do with it? And what can we not do with a, yeah, a normal army with love? And a little bit of, oh wow, here's a battle, let's see what we can do. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. No, it is, dude, it is. Um, that's fine, yeah. It is a doomstack, dude. Alone the fact that uh, you're gonna have, I mean, you know, the, the ballista, they are not really good, right? And you are making them something good. I mean, it's a little bit ridiculous that we have to have then we're gonna go for the two priests and no uh, chameleon skins though even though I mean maybe one or two we will see just to apply the poison into the pulk but yeah so you know and then they are something and this is just you know this is super sweet this is, is, is nice it's a it's a clever one man uh, yeah exactly all the elements synergize so well yeah yeah uh, um, but, and as well, Necrosmith, and I can't stress this enough, I despise this kind of gameplay. You know, I hate it. Yeah. Mm -mm. And I think I hate it even more in 3, uh, while in 2... You, to a certain degree, you needed to do that on the higher difficulty levels. But in 3, it's not needed. So it's literally just, um, yeah, flavor. And, and this is fine, but then we're going to go to the toxic part of the community where, you know, they seem to, yeah, don't know. The fashing, uh, the fashing, <laughs> the fascist loving guys, you know, and yeah. No, man, nah. And I would appreciate if you leave it, though, uh, uh, Necrosmith. Yeah. So you said it now. Don't know, since you're here five to ten times, I will not. And I appreciate that you appreciate me as I am, how I am. And I will appreciate you in the way that you are. It would be swell, sir. Not likely. Is this enough though? Wouldn't you go for a little bit more to keep all of these guys uh, alive? Well, you know what you're doing, but you know? I could imagine. Instead of the chameleons, just. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we'll see. Kind of have to see if we're going to have, actually, we do have. Dun -dun -dun. He's a fourth generation guy. I'm not sure how to get a. Um... So, isn't it the more you get. Um the later they are in generations mm -mm 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 
Hake Sylvians. So much appreciation here. What the fuck, man? No, it's a little bit... You know exactly. It's the same, Sylvians. Yeah. So Xylvians does the same you do, Necrosmith, with another game I fairly love for, yeah, for it lacks, um, uh, for it lacks gameplay. The game is called Northgard, and Xylvians is just gonna optimize and kill everything as fast as possible, as soon as possible. <laughs> and the game has no chance to actually, you know, bloom a little. And, yeah. And I fucking hate it, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lower the generation, the more magic. It's not that huge. Uh, and I don't build towers. So this is true. And he's not building towers. Which is a sin in front of God, as we know. <laughs> Yeah, no, I do think so. I mean, we, we won't get any more. I mean, we could switch because I think he is second generation. Is that so? Is that so? Well, we're going to see that, though. No, he's also fourth generation. How do we get a second generation one? Do we have to pick it? We can just click a button though. Let's do it. Cost us nothing in the first place. No. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is with netting and shit, right? An hectic burr, 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 and able to arouse one of the slumbering sl <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Okay. <laughs> uh, four mage pieces are you know, different magical lore, which line will you choose? I actually would like to choose the light. We do have um, a life one there, and he will. Um, he will take on. The thing is, I kind of want to play them all at once, you know, since we have such a long campaign and we can dawdle around without too much risk, it's all sweet. I kind of want to try light. And of course, it might help us against the, um, the evil wood elves. This is my thought behind it. And uh, we are going to use... Uh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 where we are. Uh, we're going to switch him with um, yes, no, no. So he's not second generation. So is it just your role until it fits? Man, this is also no way to play. I mean, I kind of see, you know, switching, rolling out a couple of new skinks, but then waiting until it happens. Nah, man, that's nothing for me. Yeah, we're gonna use him though, he's fine. Mm -mm -mm. But not now. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, if light is second gen, I will cry. Oh my god, I'm crying. Why? Uh, because he has more healing power, he does not, does he? So it's also just a roll. Oh my god, you guys, I'm, I pity you, man, honestly. You know, it's a, it's, it's, you're rolling dices. I mean, you keep rolling till you got a six, man. What the fuck? Uh, check the trades. Light is shit. Check the trades. What you mean? Uh, uh, uh. Is shit, uh, all slightly different. Not sure if we can see the. Uh, we're not gonna pull him out right now. Uh, what you mean? Check the trades. Uh, 
He's second. Miscast chance minus 50, which is actually fairly sweet. Plus 20. Miscast chance 30, 30, plus 5. Okay. We have a third one. He's in the middle then. Okay, yeah, I see your, I see your point, yeah. It's fine, though. I'm gonna have a third generation one, plus 15, minus 40, but he's level 2 though, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? That's fine. Uh -uh. And we know already that we're gonna use him, it's alright. <laughs> Okay, I'm over it. You're forgiven. <laughs> I am a rune lord, not some smith. Okay, but uh, we have all the units. Yes, he will switch as soon as yes. Um, we're gonna roll uh, for the next three turns, which is ridiculous to me. We're gonna roll for the next three turns uh, new priests, oracles, and chiefs. <laughs> well, we're gonna do it anyway. Sure, let's have fun. And then we will see. Meanwhile, tic tac toe. <laughs> Uh, get me his quarters. After that, he will steal most of those guys, except for Croak. He stays with Talactalan. Um, and then Talactalan will go back to this place, kill a little bit around, and get himself whatever army we want for him. While Tic Tac Toe makes his way up, because this is a full province, and we would like to have it. Uh, but truth is, we are spending too much time recruiting. We should have gone with the rest, actually, yesterday and taken at least one of those places. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where we global recruit, you know. And this would have been a quite nice one, yeah. Well, that being said, this is done, though. He's sitting there doing nothing. There will be no heroes for him, because we're going to take it all for the new army. And down south, what is happening here? We took that, we could use another turn of replenishment, and you can move? Not really. Can we, can we or can we not? We can. Uh, go for Captain's Chest. Attrition Minus, which is fine, we're crossing the sea, but yeah, upkeep is also kind of nice. No, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Could have been. Um, ooh, there's another skin oracle waiting. Uh, since we have 80k, and I think we did it already, but let's do it just again. Um, I'm sorry, dear viewer, but this amount of land needs to be administrated. See, there's another skin oracle. Already two found, man. Lost Palace. Uh, this is new. We need to start that. It just takes 10 turns. <laughs> um, no need. It is fine. Next turn, Zerveral Skink Oracles available. Okay, that means the other guy on the western coast of Lustria will get one as well. And, um, well, one, two, three. We can put two somewhere where we have, um, don't know, Crocker, for example, can get two. Yeah, I would love that, actually. Um, we will see. It won't be the last one. So we know already we'll get two Skink Oracles next turn. Mm, sure, let's start it. Um, nah, let's not start it. We'll do it when we can. Mm -hmm. I have so much um, green and unpleasant climate to deal with that we're gonna skip the um, in an uninhabitable ones for now.
Uh, we could give this to... Well, let's wait a turn. I guess a little bit of replenishment won't be bad. And then we are here again. All right. Yeah, let's enjoy that. This is fine. <laughs> we will see what we do when he sallies out, and there might be just another dwarven stack in the uh, in the fog of war. We're good. <laughs> Thanks, Soviets. How are you? <laughs> just realizing that. <laughs> Uh, replenishment, and then we're gonna kill some um, the dudes there. And you could march, right? My you could. Me. Ah, fucking hell. Effing dwarves. Yeah, I mean, we might gonna lose. M oh man, this would be a good option as well. So they will come constantly here. This is, um, yeah, you know, the dwarf. He will come constantly. Uh, <laughs> so we could kill him. Mm -mm -mm. But truth is as well, we could basically um, give him uh, another good beating. He's down to six. We don't even know where that is. In fucking what the fuck fuck. Look at that. Man, you really made something out of yourself, eh, huh, Arkham? Honestly, while he was sending stack over stack to the coast of Araby, was that even possible, man? So that means everything I said yesterday for let's grab uh, the big cities away from him is more or less not the case because he will have we don't know how much there. Oh, we can have a guess though. This is one, two. And I guess that's already it. So he has at least four uh, settlements here. Questionable if they are main settlements, though. My guess would be no, and it might be fairly sweet if he loses another one. Are we still at war with Britonia? No, we paid 30k, right? Yeah, to not be at war with them anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Who dis? Do we know that? Coron. Excellent. I think we're gonna take this one now. My faith in you wanes. I mean, we might gonna lose this. They will not be able to take that immediately. Yeah. Okay, and overall, and we are <laughs> we're still getting back from the game <laughs> yesterday, actually, and by the way. So, uh, yeah, it won't be as harsh as we have now. How much? Two and a half hours later, and we are nearly back up to date where we stopped yesterday. This is absolutely ridiculous. And let's have a little look at um, Quick Deal. Uh, 17. Where are we at with Sotek? Ooh, 62. Fucking 62. We're going somewhere, man. He's gonna be our friend. We will, we will cuddle and hug with Tehenoing, man. Holy shit. From 660 minus, actually, to 62 minus. Love ya, dude. Love ya, dude. Yeah, you peer thing there. <laughs> class, class stuff, man. Okay, this is actually super sweet. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, sure. Mm, yeah, it would be interesting though, especially since we have. He is a little bit the door for us to Reichland and to Cologne and Avalon as well, I guess. But yeah, these guys are nearly dead. So what we shall do actually is we're gonna, uh, well, we need a little bit more. 
But overall, um, and the thing is, if we are, have peace with Sotek, we might can do a little bit more because we have just, at the moment, we are expecting Sotek to attack every turn. We are working on a better relationship, but you know, while we are waiting, we gotta be prepared to retaliate. That being said, um, we could just, when we have peace with Sotek, we could just reallocate a couple of armies actually, and that would be fairly swell. And I wouldn't mind if we're gonna save their asses, if this is actually possible. We will see. I mean, no wonder that they have become so friendly, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh, oh. So this is going to be also fairly interesting. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to do right now. It's all right. Confederation, we don't need to talk about it. Follower of Nagash would like to have peace. I wonder why. Okay. Where are we at? Where are we at, man? 17 and 50,000 wouldn't be enough. Yeah. That's mm -mm -mm. fine, though. This is fine. It is time! I think Koron will be. Um, yeah. Yeah, Koron will be um, the turning point for us. We will see. Yeah. If we basically can keep that uh, working on Clan Angrond, you know, we are slowly but surely stealing away from Karas Akarak. And they will, they will come fairly constantly. But yeah, let's, let's make Teclis big. Even though that's all shit land. Our biggest concern is right now with Teclis. Um, that his shit is gonna get taken away from Katai. We don't wanna have war yet with Katai though. I'd rather not, at least for a while. Where are our murderers? Uh, we saw one getting killed. Boom humble. But that's it. So, where are you? All right, you shall have... Yeah, we wanted to have a look at one of it these armies. Right. Okay, that uh, looks ridiculously weak. Mm -mm, that not so much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Also not really strong, right? No. You may look upon me. Are they affected by the bug Favorite as well? Fire and metal. So what we I saw yesterday is... The flesh from your bones. Yep, don't forget that, I sir. Yeah, it. yeah, I, it's fine, man. But... Um, so let's ask. What is it? Military. And we're gonna check for... Stop Military Alliance with Crisis Faction. Dang. Here we go again. Yeah, that's stupid. That's weird. Isn't it? Yeah, weird as fuck. Mm -hmm. Well, sir, I think this is way better for you. <laughs> yeah. He is a friendly dragon in human form, isn't he? For a dragon, might be alright. So yeah, but we are cheating actually. So, but this does not work I for non-crisis faction. Is that correct? Of executing you. It does as well. This is weird as fuck. Okay, well, in that case, 
Don't do it with Kurt of Libaras as well. Kurt. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is oh, bad as fuck. Cool. Yeah. We we are literally cheating now. Yeah. Pretty much. Very weird. We're cheating, guys. Cheating mofos. Then we are through, right? I think we are through. No, we have still made to this uh, decision here. And let me have a look at your army. If you can't, well, then let's take this one. Nice, also level four. Ooh, oh, ah, oh, what a pity, man. Well, uh, that could have been uh, a thingy thing, but it isn't. Uh, that could have been uh, instead of a, a temper guard barrack, um, a skink skink nest or whatever it's called. Oh, that might be not worth it. Let's stop that. Yeah, let's hope we come in time, though. Yeah, I would like that. So, but that's basically it, right? Yeah, we don't use siege equipment. Thank you very much. Garrison not, not move. That would be... Yes, correct. Hero not moved. Do I care? Not really. Uh, unassigned skill point. Let's... Yeah, let's just do it. Everyone's still... You know, we're still here, man. We're still in the assessment phase. And it's not over. <laughs> what are we talking about? You. Is that true? Yeah, it is. Wild eyes. And I think I saw you get something as well. Um, let, where is that? Live Takal? Okay, he is further. He is uh, in Karasakarak. Um, he's maybe doing the siege, or he took um, the city under the siege. Under the siege. Um, also, you have stuff to do. Yeah, let's go. So, do we see something important right now? Don't really think so. You, maybe? No. And it could be a bit bigger, right? Yeah, I feel like I could easily take that spot. Or they outline it a little bit more. Yeah. Don't know, maybe it's just, you know, getting bad eyes over the years. But I mean, literally, it could be, though. Uh, but yeah. Mm -mm -mm, we don't care. Well, it's going to be a gift for a friend, so let's make it nice. Yes, please. Uh, we will lose this very likely. We will see. I'd like to know what they say. If that's a feature. Now, this can't be a feature. If it's if we can do make the AI break alliances for nothing. Yeah, no. Um, after ultimate crisis, no, nah, that would be nonsense. Crocker again. Um, coincidentally, <laughs> uh, let's not do that. Actually, I mean, when they will be there? 
They don't tell. No, let's not do that. Well, we had the same thing. I don't understand it with the... This, so we had a little bit of diplomatic um, talk with Sotek as well to get the peace in the first place, and within those, we had a couple of time with money that he will break the alliance with his uh, well with basically crisis factions. And um, two of them were defense alliances and one of them was a military alliance. And he agreed, but there was money involved and there was a region involved and stuff like that. So, and he broke then um, the defense alliances, but not the military alliance with Grumbrindo. And then we basically offered him, we needed to offer him money for um, breaking the alliance with Grombrindo. And what happened was we did that and he did not broke the alliance with, he took the money, but he did not broke the alliance with Grombrindo. And after that, I've just asked for, uh, without money, breaking the alliance and then he did it on zero zero green as well and since then we have it all the time so i do not know if this was kind of a a buck appeared and then the diplo uh, system broke <laughs> it broke in this regards but you know what I mean? So that this might be the point where um, the diplomatic system actually kind of broke. He agreed to break the alliances um, with Grom Brindle, didn't do it twice with things involved, even though he agreed, you know, but it didn't happen. And then after that, we got it for nothing. But now it's basically for nothing everywhere. And that's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a weird one. Yeah, we, we saw that, sir. Ah, uh, they're fucking hiding again, huh? Why are the dwarves better in hiding than we are? Can somebody explain that? Mm, well, they're a little bit smaller, are they not? Uh, uh, we need to replenish, but yeah, we will run into an ambush. Maybe we could go here, actually. Would do it. Can we make that like this? Yeah, as well. Okay. Sweet. That is nonsense, and you have nothing to do. Okay. Uh, they did not. They choose eating their beards. Huh? Dwarves are weird, right? Um, I'm still not sure if we are actually... Me thinks if they're gonna go there, we rather should find something else. And we're gonna start taking these places here. And I'd like to keep it though, we will see, yeah. And we're gonna give this to Uncle Teclas. Now, what is it, Floating Village? Uh, let's just check it. You require... Deliver your terms and I shall consider them. Yeah. I suppose. Zaltic 
51 slows down though. Is he at the wall? With the wall hurt? Yeah, he yeah, is. Sweet. Okay, this will do. Uh, this will do nicely. Mm -mm -mm. So, them dwarves disappeared, or what happened? Maybe just in the fuck of war. Mm. So, you going down. I guess we have to get rid of the Teradon Riders, which I do find really a pity. And one of them is not allowed. We said one of them had the, um, the Helm of Discord, right? Right. Oh, oh, oh. And it's the one not with the aimer piercing. Yeah. Do we want to keep it like that? Yeah, we're gonna take not him. That's alright. It's a shame. This is what it is. A shame. So, and you're gonna start killing now these guys. Uh, get something if you can uh, make it cheap. Mm -mm. Well, this is actually fairly sweet though. Yeah, I think we should get rid of the other ones. I want to have these guys as a joke if some things goes away actually. Any other use of those are not really clever, nor good, or, you know, tis no good. Mm, let's do three, he's full, and then um, we will fight, and then we were gonna see what we're gonna do with him in the first place. Thus, this is alright, this is finished next turn, and we're gonna um, go and up again. Um, this is fine. He stays where he is. He's gonna fight um, the Beastman for Sotek, more or less. Um, then Tic-Tac-Toe will move next turn. This is all clear and safe. We gotta have a look at Not Antarctica. And they can move again, but they're gonna do it this way because it's a filthy, filthy, filthy place. Mm, yeah, I think actually we might just gonna do that here. Trying to take the city and then we're gonna get rid of all of the regiments of Reno. So that we're gonna have our jokers uh, back. I'm gonna fill up with something. They just need to survive there. Until he comes up. So this is a good idea. Where are we at here? Minus 10. You are not needed anymore, sir. Did we give you something? Yes, the astronomer. And do we gonna sell that stuff to Uncle Techless? Or we'd rather check if when we are giving him so much stuff, when the next time we're gonna offer him um, a main settlement, we might uh, gonna ask for Fortress of Dawn. No? That seems good to me. Uh, where we add public order wise? Plus A, but he does have a little right. Uh, yeah, well, three. That's not really 
I think we are safe. We might want to start building as soon as possible though, and this needs to go away. Well, it does not really. In two turns, another increase. We will see. Let's keep doing that. Okay, this is that. Then, uh, we have moved our dudes here, right? Pretty much. Um, they choose to die there. We are gonna tell, go to Krat Tromen or Tomen? Tomen. You're gonna try to kill Bron Grimbrow. And we do have another one running around here. No, we are. Oh, the other one is looking at their armies. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is. A, it, somebody has some experience with that. Um, with giving the AI uh, money to build up, you know, does it do anything? <laughs> and I see this actually, I think milk. <laughs> Is that a. don't know, man. Mm -mm -mm. Well, if they do not make a move and they just stand there, can we attack? No, we can't. But we maybe can do an ambush 32, 35. 35 as well, and we should not be in their peripheral. Just not, sir. Okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. They're all 50, right? Yeah. Uh, he fucked off. Where, where did he go? Uh, we had one visitor here, didn't we? Yeah, here we go. Kind of doubt it. Um, yeah, that we can alter it out. We shall not fight it, but you know, if he attacks in time, it's gonna be alright, I think. Kind of depends on the layout, of course, but yeah, it might be alright. Uh, we could do something against it, though. We might should, actually. Wow, that's quite a gift, man. Sweet. Um, we gotta take this one out as well. Questionable if we're gonna actually take Skaven Blight. I doubt it. Okay, well, uh, moved, moved, mm, moved the other one as well towards Katon. Yeah. Um, done. Well, oh, this is all done. We still have a lot of money left. You guys know what that means. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna go for. Uh, Skin Chief, Weapon Master, Humble, both of it not so good. Fleet Footed, not so good. Priest on Beast, Intelligent. Yeah, it doesn't really help us. Um, we have one free though. This is kind of sweet. Um, he thinks we're just gonna go for. Um, well, truth is, you know, if we have those guys around, uh, that is not bad though. Um, just the ten percent on the ambush chance. This is kind of nice. I like it a lot. You know, even if they are just outside and they're doing that to that region, um, this is just a nice one. But truth to be told as well, it's very often that we're gonna do it, um, that we basically have an ambush in our region, but he needs to go to an army outside of our region to um, basically do damage to those who are coming towards us. 
So I think uncompromising might be better. It doesn't do that much though, you know. Um, I mean, it sounds nice on the <laughs> on paper, 50%, but yeah. Uh, I think the, no, the other one is a boom humble. So he's, yeah, no. But nonetheless, mm, sure, let's do it. But we're gonna use him. Um, can we get him somewhere else? Maybe further up. Um, maybe here. Yeah. Yeah, it's two uh, two ranks less, but it's all right. He's closer to the action. Huh? Can we give you something, something unseemly? The administrator's campaign movement, you shall have it. Uh, but nothing easy killings or something, right? No, I don't think so. Nah. Um, skills. You're gonna go for assault garrison, wound, assault units, and be a specialist about it. You're gonna get honored elder. And the rest, we frankly do not really care. Mm, I'd say we're gonna make him basically ready to fight. So that if needs be, he can join uh, an army. Yeah, I'm gonna switch those um, next. Okay. So, and you are sitting on no carnosaur, and you will go up, and we will have to work here. It seems to be a kind of an interesting point for Beliga um, as well as for Karasakara. So we are not wrong there. Let's send help. Do we just ignore <laughs> the Western provinces? Yeah, I think that might bite us later. No fucking joke. Uh, because if Teclis does not thrive, uh, we are also not really safe. Huh? Yeah, I gotta say. Anyway, this is that. Let's check for the other ones. I think we have just checked it and there was no real good ones, right? So he's in use now. That's a humble one. I wouldn't mind the weapon master, but let's uh, let's wait. We have a little bit of time to check for something sweet. So he intelligent. We don't want intelligent. Go away, sir. Intelligent. <laughs> Uh, fleet footed also not something we really want and again we're gonna leave the humble one there truth to be told I would be fine with stuff like that because I will I will very likely not over the time. I will not play the army we are forging here uh, as intended. I, because yeah, I'm not a robot. <laughs> this is why, and uh, because of that, actually, um, a weapons master with 35 uh, aimer piercing and more uh, melee attack on a Stegadon, which first shoots and later goes into uh, melee, is quite nice, actually. And uh, truth is, if we're gonna use it as, uh, um, if we're gonna use it as planned, um, then, you know, this this won't happen in the end. Huh? So it's, it's gonna be all right. Uh, we can't just get rid of him. But yeah, f for me personally, that would be swell and all right. So we're gonna keep the humble one around just because once there is somebody we're gonna take him out so that we're gonna have um, two ranks more. Uh, gotta do a little bit. 
And that is our Turnly um, Headman run. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's just too much, uh, you know, to keep in mind where to do what, actually. Mm -mm -mm. Still, it's a no down there in the uninhabitable place. There, though, we shall use something, and that would be, I think, a geomantic pylon, and then, because we don't really know what's happening here, let's go for a scrying pool, for campaign movement range start, uh, hero action, basically everything. Huh? This is quite nice. Uh, we're very likely going to get rid of that later, but yeah. Where we expect things, and we expected Oxyotl to come more here as well, which we might can get rid of now. Um, there we're gonna have the scrying pool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope. Now can we just... Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Um, same here, six turns, not really worth it. We're gonna wait with the two, this is alright. Um, just money or what you have? An iron is already made, sure, let's go for the money. Now we could start another um, another building for the um, skink oracles, um, but yeah, it will take so long till it's finished. Um, yeah, it's gonna be all right. I'm just on this one. Yeah, I mean we're kind of gonna do it. We're making a lot of money. Ah, oh, fuck it. Sure. Um, here as well, it's a little bit on the halt because we're waiting for uh, the war uh, against Sotek and or not war, but we will say. Speaking of that, um, 51, it goes still up. We still can't see, you know. Yeah, this is also quite a, they need to find another way, right? Yeah, they cannot expect people... Uh, playing don't know man 50 turns and that's it then <laughs> that's a bit dumb uh, this is all we really want right we could check for Onward. quick deal um, closer to Betonia maybe Alariel's champion oh this is not bad uh, let's do that but Corone will like it what do you wish to discuss? Ah, no, it's fine, man. It's no money. Said, no, no, no. Put your purse Queen away, man. Avalon. It's gonna be all right. Ulf I so you are not him. No, not him, though. That's <laughs> that's correct. Who? What? Um, same here, he killer, let's make ready that he can fight, which is basically already the case, right, pretty much. You are, but, where are you, though? You are in there, holy shit, why, why this? Well, we might never know. Don't care, don't care. Um... Are you full? You are full. Uh, we cannot block him. Uh, then just keep watching though. Yeah. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Chumbooks! I gotta ask, man, are you a real baron?
Do you wish though? Do you wanna be nobility? Fuck off! Out of my stream! Ah, oh, this is alright. I would have liked to um, offer it to Sotek, but this will do as well. Yeah. Oh my god. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Shh. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> oh, the other one is on Amber Stands. Annoying. Well, let's go here for now. And you, sir, uh, you're gonna make the sales again, sure. Hurry up. Fuck. And I misclicked as well. Uh, the Chumbox ad format. I do not know what that is, actually. I thought it was something, something filthy. Uh, ad format you see on the bottom of websites with like weird eye gravy images. Oh, this is the chum box. Okay, so basically, I don't know, um, uh, I don't know, a woman does that. You won't believe. And then the text next to it with, you won't believe these 10 things. Number two will blow you away. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. I mean, they are still there for quite a while. They, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it works. Things that, like, trigger the lizard part of your brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you really went then for Chumbox Baron. Holy moly. Out of my stream! <laughs> so, uh, F'd it up, they might attack, they are free to do so with our newly composed anti elven army. I would have liked to catch them in forced march though. That is a, well, it's a dangerous amount actually. But no dragons. First army of them we see with no dragons. Interesting. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, we will see though then. Um, it's a new turn. A new dawn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems to. I mean, oh, but it's, oh, it's so also predatory, isn't it? Especially to old people, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man. Yeah. I don't know if you're doing the right thing, man. <laughs> For a long time I was collecting screen captures uh, of my favorite, most amusing, interesting Shumbox as I saw on the internet. Okay, wow. There might be actually... Uh, there might be a decent YouTube video, sir. Mm -mm -mm. The history of Chumbox. Mm -mm -mm. Highlights of Chumbox. And then you're Chumbox Baron. Ooh, that's some shit, man. Uh, well, I would like to kill him. We won't be able to reach him, do we? We would. Ooh. Where are the rest of your friends? Where they jumped over here. There they are. There would be time for a plundering of uh, Lucini. No, let's do that as well. I mean, he's doing a good job. The thing is, we're not making more than that. Um, and that might be fatal over time, actually. Really? 
A lovely little... A lovely little one dies. I don't think he has to. Saving the chameleon's life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure, there was something I was fairly annoyed of, if not pissed off, that basically, I mean, it's a little bit as well, and with, uh, because I'm so unsuccessful, uh, so unsuccessful, <laughs> and it's quite an achievement, meanwhile, you know, doing it so long and having so little, but, um, the fact that people from marketing and or uh, also TV and or film experience start to make a YouTube shit, you know, and also on that base, uh, you know, the 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 attention grabbing knowledge basically, which is just part of your job. But yeah, uh, I was quite annoyed about that actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm kind of fine with it now because you know it's there. It's not gonna go away. Um, can't do anything about it. The principles of Chumbox, yeah. Uh, you can see it all over, like YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Think how the YouTube thumbnails picture has evolved. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of them, you know, uh, just have a, um, I don't know, a natural affinity to do that. And, you know, that's just good for them. Uh, but some of them are literally, well, it's my job, this is how it works. Uh, we're going to do it, bam, we will be successful. And the bad thing is, they are fucking successful. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Why do we have so many Karnosaurs suddenly? I guess we have it for a while now. So before I fight that, Brain Hackery, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see interesting trends like Big Face, uh, certain sized uh, text size. Ah, oh, this is interesting shit, yeah. And I see it, I recognize it. I kind of don't want to do it. Um, yeah. I really don't though, yeah. But I kind of think, but you know, I've tried so many things. Uh, don't know, I had uh, intros, I had, um, I had a lot of things. I had intro music, I had intros, I did fine editing. Now this is all people do not recognize actually. <laughs> people don't care about, uh, yeah. It's it's wild though. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't know, man. You know, we can market this a little bit, you know, the the little Viking beard. I'm not doing it, but actually I, I should. But yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, you're going to work out a marketing scheme for me and I'm going to go to the toilet. Be right back, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> Holy shit, man, yeah. Yeah, and also you know I'm uh, I'm a I'm a big guy, so I'm I have broad shoulders and I have broad hips. So in a way that if you look in front of me, if you just see the front. You would not know that I really that I'm really fat, actually, and <laughs> it just looks massive. And if you see me then in the in the profile, you would think, Ah, oh, yeah, no, this this guy is a fat dude. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, and you could also, and then just push that nonsense, yeah. And then for the rest of the world, it's kind of interesting. For Scandinavians, of course, it's kind of not, uh, because it's their thing. Uh, we could do a little bit of Viking shit, you know, uh, yeah, as well, because, you know, I'm from northern Germany, we were Vikings once, but so were Polish people, you know, and that's something Scandinavians do not like, man. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, cheers, guys. <sighs> ah. It's a Staropram. A really good Czech beer. <sighs> so there are ways, but I'm not sure, man. And and if even if the illusion would be um, kind of would suffice, you know, what kind of what kind of um, message I'm bringing there? Not a good one, right? Not a good one, man. Really not. So I would be basically uh, preying on, I don't know, a lot of young people who are, don't know, really kind of unsure of, am I a man? Yeah, man, of course. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, but yeah. So do I want that though? I guess I don't want that. Not even slightly. I'm not sure, man. But will there be ever another way, actually? Unlikely. Especially, you know, how things are going in the first place. What is he doing there? Mm -mm -mm. To try and compete on YouTube as a pro, I mean it's so competitive, you probably would have liked to carefully study and adjust your content creation uh, for to attention revenues and catering to the algo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's your style. Even if it was, it was still very difficult and unlikely to succeed. It's hard, man. Yeah. I mean, we've got to say, um, you know, it's a little bit, um, especially uh, Total War community uh, wise, uh, that, that that could be um, stuff done, you know, that especially what, what I could offer in that regard with which is actually not my style, but what I could pretend to be, uh, would fly, I think. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I would marketing, don't know, some Viking shit or, you know, stuff in, that, in, in regards to that stuff. And we'll be still very specific, you know. Die! Die and don't get a rebirth. Oh, look at that. I'm 
they're getting there now. It's... Uh, force march, right? Yeah, we don't need to give a damn. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum. I'm back to see you, Jarama. You did something right. <laughs> Thanks, Phoenix. Okay. Tempting. Even if it was very difficult, unlikely to succeed, it's hard in the end. Now you could build a niche within Total War Warhammer potentially, as you know I'm less familiar with that community. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think it's... Um, yeah. I don't think actually it would... 
it doesn't really matter what I would do actually. Except for I would just don't know, more or less sell my soul. <laughs> or just start lying basically, you know, just or pretentious bullshit in the end. I think this would work kind of nicely. Yeah. If you look at the lots of names, they are basically all... Um, I think this is a little bit, and they're not so different in that regard. So they're basically all fantasy heroes. Or some strength from the past. And this is what most people go for, and they are kind of very successful with that. So just name-wise, it's, it's just, you know, it's just a, a, a little... Um, it's just one aspect uh, aspect of a couple of aspects of course but um, so Turamba is basically a tragic figure though I see it's at the end of the fight is there a reason to continue to fight um, yes and no. A, we want to heal, uh, which I should do, by the way. It's good, good call. <laughs> um, so we want to heal, and that's the reason not to fight further. So we will leave the, the dwarves trying to get out of this place. Um, so that, and we can use a little bit of healing here and there, which is good. Um, the other one would be, um, well, if you kill those Iron Drakes now, so if they would not be in Forced March, um, and you kill them now, uh, you don't have to kill them next time. That's, that's basically it, yeah. So just, if you can, chase them down. You can even do it in speed up or fast forward or something. Uh, I always think it's pretty much always worth it. For reasons unknown to me, CA does not really like it. They might think, um, <laughs> I don't know, it's not fair or some shit. <laughs> I don't really get it, to be honest. You know, while we are genocide in our way through the world. <laughs> Running down the fleeing enemies is not the nice case, is it? What the fuck? Shut up. So, but yeah. Overall, if you can heal, heal after the battle, if the game lets you. And everybody you kill, uh, you don't need to kill next time. Yeah. And he tanked quite a bit, man. Moody Twist! Baudrillard wrote a, a lot about that Simulk what? And simulation. Um, what is sim, Simulacra? I think I see what a simulation is, but what is a Simulacra? Or is it just... Yeah, no. Maybe you wrote it not correctly or something, but it could be, and they just don't know the term. Uh, uh, uh. Book about symbolism, okay. What I kind of also really like though is that for the most part, especially within gaming community itself, and that I do think is a really positive thing, is, um, don't know, the, the kind of fat, chubby, wrinkly, not so beautiful person 
uh, is gonna be associated more with the viewer. And that I think is great, honestly, you know. That's a vast contrast to TV, for example. Uh, 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 comes out tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Uh, for example, the Vikings or the church or anything, and how it loses meaning and becomes an idol of itself. Uh, that lost meaning. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Something is ringing uh, when you said uh, the name. Baudelino. But I think, no, I mix it up with Bordolino. It's a book um, by, um, I don't know, a dude did some anti-fascist work. The book, uh, the book is not good, though. It's a, uh, it's a romance. Uh, it's a book about somebody who's just <laughs> lying through his life, right? but in a in a way that you basically must realize he is a liar, yeah. and sometimes it brings him uh, to the brink of destruction and death, and sometimes it brings him to a very high places in society. It's kind of interesting in the end, but the stories themselves are <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Three-legged people and don't know, man. Uh, pitch comes out tomorrow. Uh, uh, um, okay, we'll see. Um, let me have... I will copy and paste Baudrilla. Google it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Let's try that again. Jean Baudrillard, philosoph. Uh, 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 and I will go onto his Wikipedia and I will bookmark that. Okay. No, so I don't think I, I know him though. I've just mixed him up with Bordolino. Um yeah. Uh hope and giving and forgiving and the Vatican being full of money worth uh or Vikings being the definition of a man but there was uh well, they were hated by the English because they had bath and brain in the hair and the English woman laughed there. Oh. Uh, the book of other stuff like Ghost in the Shell inspired, uh, then inspired the Matrix. What? How do you get to that somewhere? Oh, 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 oh. Hmm, is there a way to get my frontline keys left to switch from range to melee when enemy is in range? Yes, uh, there's a button, the crossed, um, the cross thingy. You need to click that. I mean, they're gonna melee anyway, but I, 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 I feel there is a difference uh, if you're gonna click that. So again, as soon as we are in the battle again, I can show you. So it's down on the line, and if you don't know, um, press Control, double click on one type of unit or one unit. Then the whole type of unit is uh, highlighted, and then you can then um, set the uh, the cross sword. Uh, actually, uh, uh, um. Yeah, I can kind of see that though, but they are losing it very fast, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I have to toggle it personally. No auto switch. Exactly. Yes, you do. Have, you do have to um, do that. And that's not a bad scimitar, man. Mm, I kind of like it. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Isn't there the long vision? No, it's not. Let's just smuggle ourselves 
towards again because these guys might can reach us. Most of the way is on road though, they will go very very far. Just our magic man has one? Yes, he has one. So it's the last two points, by the way, on him. Mm, we don't have a lot uh, level 50 oracles yet. Weirdly enough, yet they do so much every time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, there is a lot of symbolism in in, um, in the first market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last two points. I actually think um, as counterintuitive as it goes, we're gonna do the last two points and to stimulate growth. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, you have to you have to do it on your own. Um, sounds good, right? We do have the five, right? Yeah, we do. I'd say we're gonna try it though. Is there a second one around? Ah, oh, fuck. Is that not the reason? Oh my god, I lost overview here. Yeah. yeah. So we're running not into. Oh really? That's a. It's a low one. Interesting. So they do not count the gyrocopters uh, as very high in the first place. Interesting. I'll take it. Uh, the other dwarfs had time actually. Let's go a little bit closer to this one so that we will be a turn unmolested. believe they let them die there. Do we just take it and then... I'm not sure if it's worth it. I mean we could just stand there and check the... Uh, see that. I think I'd rather... Well, we can't check the numbers though. I doubt it though. Yeah, that's a medium, but it will cost us quite a bit though. Let them die there. And he will go on a, on an ambush next to that. And if not, we have a big fucking battle. That's also alright. Just seventy five. Oof. Done is done, they are dead. Loot and occupy. I'm trying to keep it, but we'll see. How damaged are you? Yeah, not really good, man. Not likely. Do you 
take me for a what's <laughs> He would help, but uh, is he a big help though? I kind of doubt it. We can heal a little bit though, that's gonna be alright. Can we use him? No, we can't. Well, we'll see. It's a little bit icky there. So, Crocker moved, those two moved, um... It's done. Did you move though? Yes. We're good then. I mean, do we have a lot of money? Holy fucking shit. Um, tell you what, because we have so much, we have 122k. Dear sir, we're down to nine. And the nine would be one hundred and eight. <laughs> oh, dude, you heard me, man. It's ridiculous. Calm the fuck on. <laughs> one hundred and eighteen thousand. Truth is, we will very likely play this game uh, for uh, for the last time. We're gonna start a new one after this, uh, after two days. So I'm actually thinking, why the fuck not? I love you, my brother. Jimmy God, I love you. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well, you are starting to really go on up right now, right? I kind of fucking hope so, man. I really do. To war! Yes, good. Queen of Aval... Tyria. Zaltzik. Open the liver mortis. Oh, we have to check in Estalia. Uh, forgot about that. Nope, that's not a star, yeah? The smaller version of that. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's quite a long way, sir. Congratulations to that. Disciplined one, I think we're gonna take him. Are we gonna take first this one? Yeah, I'd say we're gonna do that as well. So we're gonna take you out because you're making way. Go away. We are gonna take him out. Then we're gonna, well, we take him out, but we're gonna uh, send him away as well. Oh, not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> uh, so. 
You are gonna get this, this, this. You are gonna get scouting. You are gonna get wild form, wild heart, flu of doom, evasion, all of that basically. Uh, I think you can get basically everything actually. Mm, um, they are buildings who provide that. You gotta read the uh, the descriptions on the buildings themselves. Basically, or close to every faction has that. Uh, I'm gonna show you where. Um, plus, there is a trait called humble. And he will make it so that the people, um, your lord, for example, or other ones. Um, so A, okay, wait. Do we have it here? No, we don't have it here. But we're going to show you in a sec. Um, so A, he has a trait, is called Humble. It gives hero recruit rank plus two. We just pulled out him for... Um, hero recruit rank plus two so that's four and the rest is where we have one very likely here uh, we do have star chambers this is in this faction the case uh, it gives hero recruit rank plus two faction wide which means uh, so the humble one they need to be in the same region or province i think it's region or province doesn't really matter i think it's province actually um, but um, this one counts faction-wise. And we do have just, you know, because we, our land is so vast, we do have then, uh, where we at 34, roughly 15 of them, uh, basically... Um, <laughs> English, man. Uh, well, we have... We just have a couple of that buildings of the star chambers. Um, you do have in with Kislev um, as well. So it's very often that um, your uh, your basic military on a higher level. Uh, I think Kislev does that. Gives you a new recruit uh, recruitment, uh, uh, basically chevrons experience, and you will have uh, maybe something in like. I uh, don't know, newly recruited boyars um, will get plus rank as well. Or, you know, uh, basically every faction has something like that. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to come by and it's not going to go into um, those heights. But yeah, it's going to be all right. So doesn't matter what comes next with the chiefs and the skings. We're going to take whatever is there though. Yeah. So we mean we got one, that's fine. You're gonna go here and kill somebody. Actually, no man, you're gonna go here. They won't attack though. Uh, 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 truth is we could have done something else with the body, man. Holy shit. So take is my brother, so take so take. Yeah, it's fine, man. So this is fine. We might gonna get attacked. All good. Um, well, we have no fucking money. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead. I think we are through. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not sure if you're still there, Moody Twist, but I'm, I'm not sure if this really works, you know, with the uh, Plato. I mean, yeah, the start, yes, but then not anymore, right? No, not really. What does it? Don't know. Very philosophical. So because you would only be able to see what's outside the cave. Oh, no, 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 that's not really... Yeah, that's the point. You wouldn't even see it. You would just experience it. And you would not be able to describe it to anybody else into the cave. But they are more or less... 
you know, they're bringing basically stuff from the outside into the inside of the cave. And with stuff, I mean um, knowledge, don't know, in this case, hacking, um, uh, hacking skills and stuff like that. So you, you know what I mean? It's not really... What works where? What where? When? Why? Oh, I came in halfway into what you were saying about Vikings. I just assumed uh, that was the combo. <laughs> it's all good, but yeah. Uh, uh, um, it's less for the people inside, but a commentary on them. Yeah, okay, I see that. Yeah, you're right. What is happening here? They're coming. Uh, they failed, but we will. Holy shit. Is the other army not helping? Yeah. Ah, it's gonna be a harsh fight, man. We have actually kind of... It's swell that this is an ambush. Is he's not um, by any chance in forced march? No. Do we want to... That's a bit dangerous, though. Yeah, let's see. can waste a couple of the feral carnosaurs. They are not doing a good job in the first place. That being said, holy shit, that looks gruesome, man. Uh, uh, um. That being said, we can more or less waste them because we're gonna get, uh, we are about to click the primeval glory in the first place. So it's, uh, we will just replace these guys and yeah, we are, we are happy to find a place for them is what I want to say. Uh, overall, how are we gonna do? Because these guys are all fucking useless. I mean, as long as these guys kind of hide, we can use them. But I would actually like to heal up a little. And it would go fairly fast as well. So we could have him here, and let's say him here, and then we're gonna have one, two, there, and one, two, there. You can be that, and you can be that. So, and this is a group of four to be healed, and well... None of you guys have a uh, no, no portion of healing, nothing. Okay, well he's healing thems, and he is healing thems, which makes him a little bit um, obsolete. But we said already that we're gonna waste those guys. Yeah. So we have two groups of four, and those is, are the ones we are gonna heal. This is all we have, right? <laughs> yeah, we have. I mean, help is coming, but what the fuck, man? Shit. So what we need to do is, I want him a little bit um, further up, so that he can do his combat of Cassandra immediately, don't know, into the shooters, I assume. And we're gonna do the same. No. Gonna do the same kind of here. Uh, I'm not sure. 100 meters might be a little too short. 
Um, cow. Yeah, I'm not happy with that, but. Okay, anyway, so you guys gonna die there. One of you is allowed to run from this side. And then we're gonna have one into the cannons, one into the shooters, and then they're gonna hack, get hacked down and shut down by the iron drakes. I will literally see that. Mm, so that's a heal and a heal. And we kind of hope that these guys do a little bit of shooting. We're gonna do Combat of Cassandra basically twice. So we will see. I mean, yeah, we will see. Oh, look at that. Quite a couple of shooties, man. That's what I thought. It's not really enough. Oh, sir, I'm not sure if this is a wise choice. My guess is, ah, uh ah. -uh. to work on the fucking iron uh, something something explosion is he already gone no ah shit and the ones which are important are not even served huh? okay let's go in there Skirmish, man.
Slayers, slayers. Oh wow, gotta run. Slayers! Color sword, no. Where is that? Why is that? So many. No. Hmm. Oh, Garnis, is that in Estania? Kinda of looks like it. Gotta fight it, gotta fight it. And then we can fuck off anyway. If we think, you know.
Uh, they had a copter and everything, I uh, yeah, pretty much. But did they had cannons, I'm not sure. And they might gonna wait anyway. Which would suck a little bit. Yeah. 